In the last chapter we have created the initial weights for the boots, and so far we have fixed the weight maps for the left side. So, our next task is to copy the just created weights from the left boot over to the right side. Here you actually have many possible options depending on how your mesh was constructed. But by far the easiest method is to use a mirror modifier, and just let Blender do the work for you. This method works best, when your mesh is clearly separable into two independent mirror symmetric parts. And shoes are just a perfect example for this. So let's take a closer look into how this can work. First, go to edit mode, and get rid of the right boot. Now enter the modifier stack, and add a new mirror modifier. Ok, we have the right shoe back again, but is it still weighted? Let's see and browse through the weight maps of the mesh. By the way here is a little trick to help you organizing the vertex groups. You can sort the list alphabetically, but we also have a sort by bone hierarchy. This can make it easier to find and compare vertex groups. So, a direct comparison of the shoe weight maps is very promising. Obviously the weights have been mirrored from the left to the right side, and the weights on the right heel now look correct. So what about posing? Let's step to weight paint mode. And now let's check how the shoes move. Oh, no this is not good. But hold on. Let's take a closer look at the modifier stack. Now you must know that modifiers are always applied from top to bottom. So, let's do an experiment and disable the visibility of all modifiers. And now add them again in the order in which they get applied. First, we have an edge split modifier. This one is responsible to create the sharp edges near the heels. Then, we have the armature modifier, which is responsible for the animation. Then at last, we have the mirror modifier. So you obviously spotted the problem, when the armature modifier is applied, the right boot does not yet exist. So there is nothing on the right side to animate. Then the mirror modifier is applied after the pose has been applied, hence the right boot now mirrors all animations from the left side. And because of this they both move in synchronization when we animate the left bone. But they do not react at all when we animate the right bone. And now all we need to do, move the mirror modifier above the armature modifier, and all is well. Please note, when you later want to tweak the weight maps, then please never place weights on the mirrored boot, because then Blender gets confused and attempts to add weights to the wrong side of your mesh. So from now on, whenever you change the weights on the left boot, the weight is perfectly mirrored to the other side, and you can be happy. But there are also two caveats here. First, you have to ensure that the vertex group option is enabled in the modifier. And then you have to ensure that the mirrored vertex groups actually exist. Let me demonstrate this. I delete the mirror modifier again. And I also remove the vertex groups of the right shoe. Now I add the mirror modifier again and place it above the armature as we did it before. And now the weights are mirrored. However the missing weight groups are not automatically created, thus the mirrored weights are kept in the same weight group as the original weights. But there is an easy fix for this. 
When a specific bone weight group does not yet exist, then it is sufficient to simply add a new vertex group, and name it accordingly. As soon as it exists it will be instantly recognized and automatically filled with the appropriate weights. However, while it is okay to create the three missing mirror groups for the shoes manually, this can become a tedious task when you have to add the groups to an attachment that uses all of the existing bones. But again the Avastar toolkit comes to a rescue. We provide a tool for automatic generation of the missing mirror groups. So let me demonstrate the tool in action and delete the just created mirror groups once more. Now open the Weight Tools panel, and call the function, Add Missing Mirror Groups. And now the mirror modifier sees the groups again, and generates the mirrored weights, and all is well again. However, sometimes we step into a situation where we cannot use the mirror modifier for whichever reason. Let's say, the boots actually have a different mesh so a mirror modifier cannot be used. Ok, let me revert to the initial situation, where we have modified the left side, and now we need to copy all of this over to the right side. So here is one way how you can get the weights mirrored to the other side without using a mirror modifier. Let's step to weight paint mode, and select all bones on the side to which you want to copy the weights. Then in the Avastar Vertical tab, locate the Weight Copy Tools. And select, Mirror from Opposite Bone. By default the mirror type is set to, Vertex. Thus the mirror tool does a vertex based mirror copy. And this can become another pitfall. Vertex based mirror copy sometimes does not work as you might expect. The reason for this is, Blender's mirror copy tools are extremely picky about the mesh topology. If the meshes are not exactly symmetric, then you can easily end up with your weights spread over the mesh in very unexpected ways. When this happens to you, then you can try to switch the tool options from vertex based copy to topology based copy. Then call the copy tool again. However, Topology-based copy often fails as well, especially when you work with low polygon meshes. And because of this we have added a new smart copy tool to the Sparkles add-on. This tool does a shape-based copy. And the good news is, the shape-based copy tool will never fail to copy the weights from the opposite side, as long as the shapes of both sides are similar. So, this is one situation where the Sparkles add-on can become a nice little helper for speeding up your workflow. However, if you do not have Sparkles, then you always can fix this problem by first making your meshes 100% symmetric and then use the mirror modifier for the task. Ok, back to our boots, after we copied the weights over to the other side, let's test the weights for both sides again. and the result looks nice so far. So, we are now done with the initial weighting of the boots. Hence we are now ready to step into the next chapter, where we will finally convert the boots into a fitted mesh. Please take your time to play with the modifiers and with the weight mirror tools, and allow yourself to make experiments. Until then, I wish you a lot of fun with the mirror tools.